Okay, the sun is just glaring everywhere. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me, let me try a different spot. Maybe right here. Mm, yeah, that's good enough. Hello, guys. It is 2022. Let me show you. There we go. January 1st, Saturday, 2022. So crazy. I already have a video out for the new year, but it is officially the new year right now. And I'm just gonna do a little vlogging, kind of like Vlogmas, but like less real life stuff, more knitting content. I was about to say crochet, but I'm not gonna be crocheting, I'm gonna be knitting. But I hope you guys are having a great start to your new year so far. I know I am, it feels great right now. I mean, honestly, it feels like any other day, but it does feel great because of all the plans that I have this year and it feels really good. But today I'm just going to be drawing out some plans that I have for a sweater I wanna make for someone and also working on a sweater that I need to finish by February, which is going fairly quickly. So that's my plan. It shall be a chill day. It's, this, vlog, this vlog is probably gonna be a span of like a week or so or a little less than a week, but we'll see. novice sweater mohair edition it is very scrunched but i'm using one strand of fingering weight yarn it's from hobie and i like it so far i like how like true to size it is so i can't wait to see how it's gonna turn out because i have a whole outfit just ready ready and planned for this and the colors oh, beautiful pictures they came out so great i will show them later but i'm going to the park with my sisters to take pictures with them well take pictures of kahila and maybe we'll take pictures together who knows but that's where we're gonna go i haven't been to the park in so long because it's been so cold so i'm excited <laughs> January 3rd. Oh, the last time I filmed was the first. Oh, you can't even see this. 
Hello. Yeah, whatever. Okay, it's January 3rd. And I did it a lot yesterday. Let me show you my progress. I don't even know if I showed you this project period, but I'm doing a novice sweater mohair edition, but using one strand of fingering. And I have split for the sleeves. This is day four that I'm working on it. So I'm going pretty quickly for this to be just one strand of fingering and on four millimeter. So let me show you. This is what I have so far. I have changed to the next color. I'm doing four colors. So this one is going to be, it's a certain length. And then this is a certain length. And I, I split it up evenly so that they are evenly mm, distributed, I guess. But I'm on the third color and I have split for the sleeves. So today I'm just going to be working on this and watching Leftovers. It's going to be my first time watching. So we'll see my opinion on it sometime. It is January 6th, aka Malika's birthday. Wow, my hair looks wild a little bit, but it's okay. Yes, it is Malika's birthday. She is 22 today. Mr. Bobvin, if you guys don't know. She is 22 today, so we're gonna go out and eat. And I'm gonna bring my dress, my silk dress that I am going to be working on for half of the year and it's, it's I just needed something mindless something easy and to do after I eat and when we just chill so I think that's gonna be cool I'm gonna I put it in this petite knit bag so I'm going to bring that with me and then just chill and knit and eat and celebrate her birthday. So I gotta get dressed because we're leaving in like 30 minutes. I'm not gonna bring my camera with me, so I'm gonna be filming on my phone like now. Do I need to clean the lens? I don't know. But this one I'm wearing, my crochet cardigan, the first one I ever made, some jeans, shoes, and here's my knit project that I'm walking with. Well, we're not walking, but that I'm Cheering with me. We are here. We are knitters. <laughs> <laughs> we got shrimp burritos and we're just waiting for it. I'm so excited. I think I'm gonna knit right now and then like knit until the food comes. I keep forgetting I can't look here. I have to look here at the camera because like the camera's on the side. <laughs> Okay, I'm back home. I need to send those, I need to remember to send those clips that I got on my phone so that I <laughs> don't have a piece of my day out gone. 
that would be unfortunate. But I am going to work on my seamless mock neck. If you guys saw the previous video, you guys will know that I attempted to knit this in 24 hours. That didn't happen, but I knitted most of the body. So I just have a few inches left before I have to do the ribbing and then bind off and then do the sleeves. So not much left to be done. I'm hoping I can get through 99% of the body, if not the rest of the body, hopefully today. I know I need to like rest my hands and stuff, but I really don't want to. So I'm just gonna keep knitting, but just chill knitting, not like any rush knitting, cause I'm not in any rush to finish this. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then I'm going to watch some Twitch streams and chill. yarn mail purchase and I got it in November because I don't think I got anything in December but I was like okay I have to support this person the love stitch aka Tierra, aka the love stitch knits and she also has a podcast here on YouTube called the love stitch I think it's called the love stitch or the love stitch knits but I think her brand is love stitch Mm, I don't know. It's the love stitch, so you can check her out. I will link it down below. But I got a sweater quantity of her yarn. It was her first launch. <laughs> so cool. And also a project bag. I already previously got project bags from her because they were just so beautiful. Let me find the other one. I have so many project bags around here. Oh, here it is. <sighs> This one, I got this project bag. It has, it, it was my sock bag. It has like some sock yarn in here. And also got this bag, which it has my hat whip in here. Also, I frogged the watch cap by Pearl Soho. I'm not gonna do that anymore. I'm gonna try to do the Oslo hat. I was like, you know what? Let me try to do some techniques that I haven't done before, challenge myself a little bit. So I frogged it. Wow, frogged something, right? So now I am using it to make the Oslo hat, the regular one. And the Oslo hat is made with two strands of fingering weight. So I'm just using one strand of DK weight. And it's my first time working on something that's just stockinette with no ribbing and it's weird because it's curling up I don't like that but it's gonna get bigger so I guess it doesn't matter at the end of the day but yeah I got these two project bags from her already so I got another one with this yarn purchase is my yarn in there my yarn that's from the love stitch uh -huh. mine might be in there because she gave me a refund Oh, okay. Kahila's yarn might be in here as well. People tend to think we are the same person when we order from them at the same time. <laughs> so they'll just like refund one of us the shipping and combine our orders together, which is totally fine. Did you get a bag too? Did you get a project bag too? No. This. I love when things come in these uh these fat bags. That it says thank you. Thank you for your support truly. The love stitch. Very cute. Oh yeah, it is both of ours. This is mm. the inside. What color was your yarn? Did you oh, get like this color? Oh, so it was very bright? Because I think I got the brownish one. Yeah, mine was bright, like white almost. Okay, okay, cool. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my god. Bro, the way she wound this up is so fat. <laughs> the way she wound this up is so fat. I love it so much. Okay, so this is the yarn that I got. It is non superwash, okay? It this is what the tag looks like. No focus. Yeah, that's what the tag looks like. It says hand dyed with love in Maryland, USA. The love stitch fibers. This is non superwash fingering, 100% non superwash merino, 436 yards or 398 meters per 100 grams. And this is my first time getting a non superwash base in the hand dyed yarn, so I'm so excited to use it. So I got four, four of these, which is a sweater quantity for me. And this is what they look like. Oh, so, so beautiful. So soft and nice. And I love how non spongy it is, but also hand dyed yarn, even when it's super wash, isn't spongy to me. And then Kahila Zone is in here too, but. I'll let her show you guys. Also, the bag that I got was this bag here. It looks so cool. I wanted another Notions bag so that I can turn this one, which is my Notions bag currently, into just a stitch marker bag and then turn this into my Notions bag. So I am so happy with this. The inside looks like this. It has pockets and stuff. On the inside, I don't know if you can see, it's pretty dark, but it has pockets on this side, pocket on that side. Oh, it looks so cool. I'm totally about to transfer this after I show you guys. What? Well, after this. But here's your yarn. Welcome. I'm so excited to use this. I don't know what mohair I would want to pair with it because I would for sure want to pair it with a mohair to give it a nice halo. I'm obsessed with mohair, so this is going to go on my shelf somewhere. Hopefully I can find space, but that is the mail for today. One sleeve done, finally. Okay guys, I have finished the sweater. It took me four days total. Let me just show you what it looks like. So refresher, this is the seamless mock neck sweater by Well Love Knits. Let me show you the back. Back looks the same as the front. Wait, let me move my hair. Back looks the same as the front. And let me move this back. And I still have whole skein left plus this left of the seventh skein and I did the size medium. This was such a nice project to do. I definitely slowed down a lot because I dislike chunky yarn so much but I wanted to make this sweater and just like look at how nice it came out and whenever I saw Bethany's sweater on my feed I was just like oh I need that. I need that in my wardrobe. It's like a staple. I will show some pictures on the screen that I took in this sweater like just before I filmed this and oh my gosh I am in love even more. Definitely recommend 100%. For beginners who want to take a little extra step into something a little more advanced but it's not too advanced you know. So I definitely recommend it for how do you say it? Mm, adventurous beginners or something <laughs> but this was so great to make I am hot right now because it is so hot today what is the degrees let us see mm. it's 71 degrees right now which what is it in Celsius let me see that is 21.6 Celsius so 71 degrees Fahrenheit and being in this sweater <laughs> it's pretty hot right now but even if I were to wear this out I wouldn't care if I was hot like if I get hot too bad deal with it because this sweater is just so luxurious so beautiful and 
easy to read, so. I know I keep like hyping this pattern up, but like it deserves the hype, okay? It's just that good. It took me four days, which is no time. That is all that I have for this vlog. I liked filming this vlog. It was very chill, very nice. It reminded me of Vlogmas, but also not because it wasn't stressful having to film every single day and post every single day. That's crazy. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new and you haven't done so already. Remember to join my Discord so that I can see all of your projects and you can get all the announcements of when I go live, when I post a video, etc. And I'll see you guys next time with another video. Bye!